What's going on everyone, Talon back here, and today the Beerus celebration has officially begun. So if you are trying to summon for the physical Beerus, by all means, go ahead. I have been farming up the stones from the revamped Battle of Gods story event thing. So there are nine new stages because it got completely revamped. So nine new stages plus two stones for the Z-Hard and the uh, well hard difficulty, I guess. And that will net you about 18 stones. And then by doing the battlefield here, you should get about 30 stones. So you're actually getting really close to 50 stones right there if you want to do a totally free multi. Um, so we're going to check it out. We're going to see, we're going to go through the last few stages here. Because, I mean, overall, I think battlefield is pretty easy for most people up to this stage. The Topo, Dispo, and the Jiren fight at the very end can definitely be difficult. So, because um, this time around, Jiren is STR. So AGL is going to be your best bet. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take on Topo, who is an int unit. So we're going to be taking the physical team. And let's see here. Um, if only you were easy aid on JP. Nah, I know. It, 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 probably, probably around May or so. May or June probably is when we're going to see it on uh, on JP. But anyway, um, let's see here. Why don't we take you and you as the leaders. Take you, take you. You, uh, definitely take you, and why not? Let's go with that. Okay. This team should be able to beat Dispo pretty easily. Again, Dispo's not too, too difficult. Um, I didn't even take a look at what you can and can't do to him. I think you can't seal him, can't stun him, can't lower his attack, can't seal him. Okay, so the typical stuff, right? At least with Jiren, you can lower his attack, so that's pretty nice. All right, um, definitely go with this. Let's give you that. Let's give a ton of orbs to the Vegeta, or kind of a ton of orbs, I guess. And because we can't see him, it doesn't matter what I do, but I'm still going to give this guy super attack because he can at least dodge, right? That is the main thing. So if you have summoned on the Beerus banner, make sure you leave your comments down below saying, hey, I pulled this or at me over on Twitter and be like, yo, Talon, the luck came through. I got Zena or, oh, Talon, I got trash, whatever the case may be. Or if you're on Global and you summon for Cooler because Cooler is actually back on the JP side of the game and over, obviously he's over on Global. So if you have summoned for him, then awesome. And I really wish those had been some criticals because that was doing absolutely nothing. There we go. Oh, sure. Jeets is going to do the... Jeets is going to do some good damage here. All right. Oh, you're going to super him. Okay. But we got that added defense from the... Colossus. Oh, yeah, 35 is nothing. Okay. <laughs> oh, Zamas. Zamas versus Topo. That would have been funny to see. That would have been extremely funny because technically Topo's a god of destruction. Yeah, <laughs> I know he's in training still, but man, that would have been, that would have been something. <laughs> okay, not too bad, not too bad. Um, yeah, we'll just leave it like this, I guess. We'll give those to you, and that's at least a super attack for you. If we can at least get three or four, well, that's going to be a one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, that's six for him right there. Uh, okay, fine. I, I, have to I have to remember a physical go tanks. He doesn't, his 11 key super attack is still his best, but 12 key is not bad. Remember tech days? Remember the old tech days where that was a thing? Yep. All right, Trunks, can you get a double super attack potentially? Take down the take down the big boy here. Okay, go tanks. Please get a dodge. This is one of those few physical units that I was just like, your defense is crap. I'm giving you all dodge except for the critical and then the level five dodge. 20k. Okay, that's not terrible. I've seen worse. I've definitely seen worse. At least he didn't get super attack. That is the most important thing. Okay, um, yeah, we're gonna go with this, just because. <laughs> uh, we'll go with that for you, and we'll give that to you. Alright. Again, if this, if, if the physical Vegeta Blue was easy 8 I'd be like, alright, just put him right there, he's gonna destroy Topo now. Uh, this is really activate right now. Come on, you're rainbowed, Vegito! I mean, 8.2 is fine, because it's only under physical super leads, basically. Come on! Show me what you got. Yeah. Okay. okay I'll, I'll take the double. I'll take the double super attack right there. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Now, one thing I want to talk about that seems really, really weird to me is that this... So, this Battlefield is technically called Battlefield 2.0 version 24, or Niju Yonkai, which means the 24th time we are seeing this game mode come. Okay. Makes sense. And this was supposed to be the time that they would give us the final copy for LR, King Cold, and Mecha Frieza, or Metal Frieza, whatever you want to call him. He's Mecha, I think, technically. 
And th so this would mean that the following battlefield to come in probably either April or more realistically May, because that's going to be Golden Week, so that's more hype and everything, would give us the next Battlefield LR. Now, granted, I know, unfortunately, Battlefield LRs have a bit of a stigma to them because they don't, they never increase the Battlefield gems in order for us to reasonably get these units, right? You're kind of just like, oh, okay, well, fine. I will save this up and we'll eventually get some decent LR, right? But anyway, so year three gave us the third copy of the LR King Cold and Mega Frieza. And you're like, okay, so we've got one copy, then there's three more in the shop. As of right now, like for me personally, I've gotten the copy once to showcase them in a couple of videos, and that was about it. And there's three copies in the Bob shop for me right now if I wanted to go get them. And then I'm like, okay, so this means that this current battlefield that we are playing right now on March 3rd, 2020, would finally bring the last copy, and then finally in April would give us you know, a new LR, or be like, okay, no, we're not going to, but then in May, we're going to tease it in the April version, and be like, oh, by the way, we're going to do this, so, and by the, and by the way, with me saying all this, I could easily, they, that's probably what they're doing, right, they're probably just going to be like, okay, April's going to release the last copy, and then May's going to do that, but they don't say anything in the shop, like, or they don't say anything in the news about it, and I'm just like, why, uh, what am I looking for, tech, so tech, um, oh geez, um, it has to be super tech. I don't know, I guess we'll just do that. We'll go with, actually, no, go with that. Take you, take you, take you, take you. And you, sure, why not? Let's go with this. Dispo's not too hard. He does dodge, which can be kind of annoying, but overall, it shouldn't be too hard against Dispo. But yeah, I'm just like, it, it, it's just weird. It's weird that they're... Choosing to do this. Oh, wow. oh yeah, you guys link up with uh, Kaime, huh, don't you? Oh no, you link up with something. Oh, Revival, that's what it is. Yeah, I always forget that Oob has a Revival. Um, you know, to be honest, it's just a key link, so... We'll give you that. Brunks will give you that. And Goku, I really don't care what you do. You're just meant to be throwing off rotation because you have no defense. Alrighty, I don't even know if we can, I don't think we can even lower Dispo's attack, but it doesn't really matter. Oob's still a beast of a unit, so that just leads me into my next part now. For anybody who, oh, we can't lower his attack, nice. For anyone trying to save up a ton of gems for whatever next Battlefield LR is coming, at least on JP, I know Global, you guys don't even have the LR Frieza, Mecha Frieza, and King Cold, but honestly, they're okay by today's standards. They haven't, they, they've aged fine, I guess. Um... Just pick up Oob. Like, seriously, Oob gets a lot of flack for some random reason, but LR Oob is a beast of a unit. I absolutely love LR Oob. That should be a super attack right there. Not for you, and for you, that should be a super attack. Yeah, 11 key super attack on the Go Tanks. All right, you don't get to see that every now and then. I wasn't going to pair him up the Gogeta, or the Vegito, because that would have made him not have his defense, because he's actually going to get defense now. Double? Ah, that was the wrong, wrong additional super. But yeah, I would definitely say at the very earliest, we should maybe be expecting a Battlefield LR around Golden Week, which, you know, would kind of make sense. Oh, really? You're just not gonna... Huh? Nothing? Okay, 50k is fine. But I would say if you are saving up your Battlefield gems and you have, like, say, 500,000 or more... Just pick up a couple copies of Oob. He's worth it. Plus, he helps you with the, with the Vibe Warrior Super Battle Road. He actually works on a lot more categories than you might think. I 100% think you should get, you should try and get him. All right, we'll go with that. And let's give that to Trunks right there. The Dispo is pretty easy. Okay. Now we're just going to get lucky. Oh, you son of a... <laughs> Do it, Vegito. Do it. <laughs> I didn't want to bring the pain, but we're bringing the pain. Oh, Dispo, you son of a... Oh, it's going to be one of these battles. Okay, you you forced my hand. You forced the freaking Vegito to transform, Dispo. You want a match, you've got one. You have freaking got one. Okay, alrighty. We're, we're, we're going in hard. We are going in hard. Alrighty. If he dodges all of these, I'm going to be like, what? There we go. That's right, Dispo. Get sliced. I wonder no one liked you. They only just recognized Broly's voice. He's a voice actor in Japan. Okay. So let's go take on Jiren real quick. And then 
I'll check and see if there's anything decent in the shop. I don't think I've bought every I've pretty much gotten everything that okay, basically there. All right, so we're gonna need AGL. Okay. Um so you and you 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 and I think I take you to be honest. Let's go with this. Now, none of these guys, now in a realistic world, you'd want to be bringing AGL units that lower his attack because that's the best way to beat Jiren. Not many AGL units that lower the attack though. <laughs> so we've got to hope that we can get some major attacks off here and everything. Now you've got a chance to dodge. I'm actually going to do this. Um, we'll give you that. Give you an 18 key super attack because then you massively raise your attack and defense for one turn, which is the big deal. And we'll go with that right there. And of course, Vegito's on the third rotation. He's on the freaking third rotation. Of course he is. Well, maybe we're going to be such low health that we're going to see what the super attack's going to be. Ooh, double, double by the Gogeta. You know what? I'll take it. I will take a double by Gogeta. Sure. Absolutely no problem. Okay. Oh! That's why we put him there. We totally guessed, but hey. And my dupless Super Saiyan 4 of Goku, you can do some decent damage at least. Okay. Well, thankfully, you massively raised your defense, because otherwise you're still, you would have taken a lot more damage right there. All right, Vegeta, boom, nice. This guy and Cooler, the physical Cooler, are easily going to be the best 120% uh, super or, uh, easy A units when they, when they come out. All right, we're going to give this to Trunks just because we can. Just, Trunks is amazing at blocking and everything. And I figure he's probably going to super Trunks because he tends to super in the first slot. No matter what. So Trunks can raise his defense here, which would be awesome. Okay. Called it. Called it. I swear, Jiren, you're predictable, buddy. You are predictable. I'm still doing 100 freaking 17. Jeez. That's a lot of damage. Oh, that hurts. All right, Gohan, can you get an additional? Oh, come on, man. I got three dupes of you during the year five celebration matters before I finally pulled my first Vegito. You could have at least get an additional super attack off, but no, apparently not. All right, 13. All right, so Vegito's here. As much as I want, just put him... Oh, well, you know what? We're actually going to do it. We're going to do this. I'm going to let him start getting some critical counters off, hopefully. And we'll heal up a little bit here because of the rainbow orbs and all that fun stuff. Okay. And now he's actually got his attack boost, so those need to become criticals, though. All right, 1.2, basically. Not too shabby, not too shabby being only under 90 and 100 lead? I don't remember what the... No, 120 and 90, that's what they are, yeah. Actually, I could, probably could have done better on the leader skill. But whatever, okay, doing good on the counters, good. Okay, Gogeta coming in. Alright, if he can just dodge the super attack, like he's supposed to. Yeah, my boy Gogeta coming through! Oh, I think I actually gave him a level one AGL dodge or something like that because he has a medium chance to dodge or is it a Tokidoki time? I don't remember exactly. Oh, wow, really? You're just gonna leave him alive like that? I don't remember. I, I gotta check real quick. Gogeta, non-transformed, he has a medium chance to dodge and when he transforms, it is a high chance to dodge the enemy's attack. Yeah, so I, yeah, I gave him a level one agility dodge just because I got it. I was just like... Yeah, sure, why not? I use AGL Gogeta all the time, so just because I could. Just because I could. We'll, we'll put Go on there. Even if he super attacks us, we'll be fine. We're not going to die here, so. All right, so Jiren wasn't too bad. Jiren wasn't too bad this time. We definitely got lucky with the dodges, though. Um, But yeah, unfortunately, Jiren is one of those things where you're going to need AGL units to lower his attack if you don't have the powerhouses to take him on. So you might there might be a couple of tries where you have to go back to the battlefield again um, if you are dying. Uh, all right, so we grabbed all, we defeated everything, and and this is how we get our third sticker in the entire game that's not including the free-to-play Vegeta Coat, Goku Goat, and the SDR Gogeta free-to-play card. So you got a third sticker now, so you can go and apply that sticker to whoever you want if, if you want to see what a lot of the stickers look like before trying to apply it, because for some stupid reason, they don't let you see what the sticker effect actually looks like before you apply it, because you can't take it off. Go to my man Hydros. Link will be down in the description below. Or actually, I'll put it in the comment. I'll pin the comments, essentially, is what I'm going to do. But go check out Hydros' Twitter page and his channel as well, because he actually posted, like, 
99% of all the sticker effects and what they look like and everything. They do look better on his channel because he uses Trident and he takes away the stupid holographic background, which I wish we could do as well. But regardless, it shows you what the effect looks like. Again, it doesn't actually affect your card or anything, but go check that out and you then can apply the sticker to whoever you want, okay? Or hold on to it and give it to whoever you want later on, okay? So with that being said, I'm gonna collect all of my gifts and hopefully that's 50, oh, 49 stones. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay. We'll be right back. All right, guys, I had one last story mission from the new Battle of Gods revamp story event. So now we've got official, we got exactly 50 stones. So this is gonna be my one and only summon on this banner. Now it's actually a decent banner. It's actually pretty good. So Beers, as you guys know, is a very, very, very strong card. So if you get him, he's a very good option. All right. Weiss is a very good card as well. They're basically meant to be run together though. Um, Cooler is back. Now I just went straight into the shop because not knowing what this summon would do. And I grabbed two copies of Cooler. I was like, the Shaft for Vegito's banner gave me so many red coins. I was like, I'm gonna grab two copies of Cooler. And I've got 360 red coins left. So by the time Vegito and Gogeta come back during year five or the Tanabata banner, which will be in July, usually. Just gonna grab a copy of them then, like that. So if I grab another copy of Cooler, I'm all for it though. That's a, that's a, that'd be a third copy right there. This Goku, I've only got one copy of, like one dupe. So I would take a second dupe of him, no problem. Vegeta, not really, I don't really want. I've got two dupes of you already, so I don't care personally. Kyle King Goku, nope, I've already got you 100%. No, just, no. <laughs> and then these are all the, SS, are the SRs. So without further ado, let's see if I can pull something decent. Rift? Nope, okay. Whis and Beerus? Tien? Oh god. This... Wow, okay. Well, it looks like... Looks like we're getting the Shaft. Unless he said a what he does somehow, which I highly, highly doubt. This is a Shaft already. I, I, I can't hear what they're saying, so... This... Whew. Whew. Yikes. This is, uh... <laughs> You could have been a fake out, but I know you weren't going to. Yikes. This is... Woo-wee. This is... God, when you see nothing but just one measly little character fly in, that usually means nothing unless he's accompanied by others. Ooh. <laughs> mm. 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 Uh, that hurt. I I'll take my 10 coins, though. That that's the important part, so... Whew, okay. I'm skipping this because I have a feeling again, I know Cooler's back. Just grab it with your coins, guys. Skip the banner. I know that I said the banner was actually pretty good and it still is to a degree. Um, but we do have the Sand banner coming up, this, the uh, Saiyajin day banner coming up here on the 16th, 17th and 18th around there. We're not really sure exactly what day it is, but Beerus goes away on the 18th and most likely on the 17th or 16th, we're gonna see what that will bring. That's because that's gonna be a global and JP combined celebration. Usually it is at least confirmed but potentially uh so if you want to wait and see what that banner is going to bring or if you want to try and summon on here by all means go ahead uh but i would definitely say grab cooler with some red coins you should because by the time the about the banner comes with the lr vegeto and gogeta you should have some coins back so anyway guys that is going to be it for the video though let me know your thoughts in the comments as always leave a like if you liked the video subscribe if you happen to be new until next time everyone i will see you all in the next one